I got to get the GoPro out. <laughs>
unfortunately things got super anticlimactic at this point because we stopped the camera to get the fish undone and the shook himself free and tipped the net over and went back to the depths. Nevertheless, we soldiered on. There are plenty of other species in Lake Sakakawea, aside from the walleye and even aside from the pike. It's got a host of white bass and smallmouth bass amongst other things. And this time of year in the fall, most of what you catch are pretty big. Whether it's a walleye or a pike or anything else, all species seem to bring out the bigger fish during this time period as they get a lot more aggressive and look to feed heavily to put on some weight and make it through the winter. But while the big bass were certainly a nice bonus along the way, of course what we were really looking for were the big Lake Sakakawea walleyes. I just started to fall off on the deep edge, actually. Yeah. 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 This is a big pie. I was going to say this is a big porky pie. It came out weird. an eight pound walleye but it's a walleye on well I'm not gonna tell you that GoPro stop recording the afternoon bite was a little slow and the fish that we did catch were a little less than desirable in terms of size this happens a little bit you know when you get a calm day like this flat conditions, the wind usually brings out some of the bigger fish and we just didn't have it. That said, in our back pocket we knew that we were really waiting for that hot evening bite yet again. Eventually, the sun started to fall, and the wind started to blow. Couple that with a change in lures for the evening, and we saw our first signs that the bigger walleyes that we were after were perhaps ready to start feeding for the evening, just as we were hoping for. Upon us. Let's do it. We had lost quite a few of our go to lures earlier in the day. I needed this fish to get confidence back. Just in time for the evening. Missed the hook set. 
but the evening bite is upon us. Hopefully there will be more. As the evening bite started to heat up, we decided to make a move to one of my favorite fall big walleye spots. As we got there, the side image was loaded with some really good marks, but you never know exactly what they are. We were hoping they're big walleyes, but you just gotta fish them and find out. almost dashed our hopes that what we were seeing on the side scan were big walleyes, but then Fall fishing certainly isn't a walk in the park. Things are gonna go wrong. Some things are gonna break. Things are gonna get wet. And things might even freeze. But when everything comes together, few times of year are as fun and rewarding as late fall, especially on Lake Sakakawea. Not a bad one. <laughs> Just fired up, perky, nice golden Boom. color on this one. Man. Yeah. 24 and a half. 24 and a half. Well, Beautiful. Now I gotta get the GoPro out. <laughs> God, that's a healthy fish. <laughs> She's already gone. Outtakes. That's right on the end. You just made me break my rod. That's very odd. Oh, oh my gosh. Very strong. God, he got off. That's 
how you catch a carp on Sakakawea. You just snag it right in the belly. Sorry about the waste of time. It's a nice channel cut. I don't know. Sometimes that happens.